and welcome to Designing with Adobe XD. I'm Marissa from excelpixel.com and in this video I'll show you how to design a call to action grid using one of my favorite features in Adobe XD which is the repeat grid. So let's jump right in. First, grab the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle that's 420 by 540 pixels. If you're using the grid on your artboard, align the rectangle so that there's a one column space between the edge of the artboard and the rectangle. Fill it with gray and remove the border. Then, we're going to select the text tool found on the left hand side toolbar and draw a text box that's 185 by 38 pixels. Within the text box, write the word see and do using the font ASCII bat, size 33, color the text to white, and center align the text. Align the text box to the center of the rectangle by first selecting the gray rectangle and then selecting align center using the alignment tools in the appearance panel. Position the text box so that it's 202 pixels from the top of the rectangle. With both the text box and rectangle selected, head on over to the appearance panel and click repeat grid. Then select and drag the green handle until there are four rectangles. Hover the mouse in between the repeat grid's margins, you'll see it turn pink, and then click and drag until the fourth rectangle aligns to the second last column on the artboard grid. Now, we're going to add pictures. A really cool feature in Adobe XD is that you're able to select multiple photos in the same order as they appear in the folder and drag them onto a repeat grid in that same order. I've already chosen the photos and the order I want them to be placed, so I'm just going to select them all, drag and drop them onto the repeat grid, and voila! All the photos are placed in their respective places. Now, we're just going to double click to enter the repeat grid and individually change the wording for the next three text boxes so that they read eat and drink, stay and plan, and events. And there you have it. You've just created a really cool action grid using the repeat grid feature in Adobe XD. Stay tuned for the next video in the series. I'll see you there.